Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. We are here at our usual testing site, Gate Delta 26 in Miami. In the PMDG 737-800, I want you to take a look at the upper left corner of my screen. I have a 60 hertz monitor, and you'll notice that I'm running at 59 to 60 frames per second. This is because I have frame generation enabled on my RTX 3080 Ti graphics card. Let me show you real quick in my settings. Come here to general options. NVIDIA DLSS frame generation on. This, and you see over here, it says this feature requires a GTX 40 series graphics card, which I don't have. So something has come out today which enables uh, AMD frame generation to replace the NVIDIA frame generation in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So if you have an RTX card, a 20 series card, 30 series card, you can now enable RTX frame generation on those cards. Now if you look, well, let's go back to my settings here real quick. If you look here, I have, so I have DLDSR enabled, I'm using the Holy Grail graphics settings. DLDSR is enabled, I have DLSS super resolution quality. And if you come down here, I have absolutely everything totally maxed out. TLOD 400, objects level of detail 400, ultra all the way down. Um, absolutely everything, is in a, and as a matter of fact, I need to turn this off because I have it um, running on in NVIDIA control panel um, but if you see everything else uh, completely maxed out I have motion blur off because I hate motion blur with a desperate passion but you can see 60 frames per second and I mean this is in 4k obviously you can see how ultra clear everything is in the distance and look at this 60 frames per second I mean 60 the one thing I've noticed is it, it, it can have some a little bit of a jitter sometimes when you're panning um, when you're looking around I'm, I'm using uh, the uh, track IR5 here we are in the cockpit 55, 56, 59 frames per second. See, everything is crystal clear. And, I mean, and if you look, there's no jittering whatsoever. Like, there's no, uh, you know, sometimes you get these slight, like, micro stutters when you're panning around a little bit. It is crystal, crystal, crystal clear. It's absolutely stunning. This is completely maxed out settings on an RTX 30 graphics card. Um, I have not tried flying with this yet. Now, in order to do this, um, now that I've done this a few times, uh, I am going to talk you through this kind of slowly. First thing is first, guys. Uh, system restore. Create a system restore point. Do that first. I created one and named it Frame Gen, and then saved so that w if something weird happens, you can just undo the entire thing with one click. Now, I'm going to put these links in the description. You come here to this GitHub page and you download this DLSS G to FSR, FSR3 zip. Okay. Um, you're going to get a readme file in here that tells you how to do everything. Okay. You're going to have to know, like we talked about before, where um, the DLSS file, the DLL file goes in your system. So for me, uh, that's here in Xbox games, Microsoft Flight Simulator content. It's wherever your flight simulator.exe file is, right? Now, um, I've showed you a couple ways to find it. 
either with DLSS Swapper, which um, we probably don't, we actually don't want to use with this uh, with this mod because we're not swapping the DLSS, we're replacing it manually. Um, but you can use GPU Z to find out where it is. I've put up a video on that, and I'll link to that video. But wherever your flight simulator.exe file is, is where you want to put this file here, the NV, NGX DLL file, uh, and also <laughs> this file, which is humorously named DLSSG to FS, FSR3 AMD is better. So you want to put these two files. Um, the, as a matter of fact, the first thing you do, and again, this is in this readme file, you right click on the disable NVIDIA signature checks uh, file here click merge it's gonna ask you a couple questions you say yes uh, and then you go to your games installation directory just like it says here and you, you put these two files the two DLL files in your games directory your Microsoft Flight Simulator game directory and you are good to go. When you launch Microsoft Flight Simulator, there's going to be a, a pop-up that comes up, and it's going to it's going to warn you that you know all kinds of crazy things can happen. This is experimental, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you've created a system restore point, you're going to be okay. You can go ahead and do this. Okay. Um, the the last couple points you want to turn off. Uh, if you have it enabled, you want to turn off vSync in your settings in Microsoft Flight Simulator, which I usually have on. Um, then you want to close out of the game, go to NVIDIA Control Panel, and turn vSync on in NVIDIA Control Panel. Otherwise, you're going to get some stuttering with this. So I turned it on in both global settings and in the program settings okay then you click apply and then you relaunch microsoft flight simulator and every time you relaunch it you're going to get this warning right that you're doing something experimental and that it could all go wrong um i have not touched anything except adding this and maxing out all the settings and this is in 4K, 4K plus, because I'm at 2.25 DLDSR. Um, 4K plus, and I mean I'm just absolutely maxed out on every setting, and I'm getting 60 frames per second, which is the most I can get. Now again, sometimes when you switch views, um, I've noticed like panning around, it can get a little wacky but it's only it seems to be only the first minute or two and then it seems to get uh it seems to to settle in quite nicely uh again you look over at the detail in the distance here and these buildings are so sharp it's unbelievable uh even with uh you know with, with my stock holy grail settings for uh you know dldsr and uh DLSS enabled, I get 40 frames around Miami, which is which is fine. Um, but that's that's not having all the settings maxed. Now I have all of the settings maxed, every single one, and I'm getting 60 frames per second. Uh, this is absolutely a game changer. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, depending on how it works for you you know put your comments in the uh in the comments below in the video um like i said i'm using the holy grail settings it's working perfectly fine you can see here my my screen resolution resolutions in 4k again everything ultra 400 tlod 200 object level of detail everything completely pegged and it's absolutely stunning i mean it's absolutely stunning I, I i don't even have words for how 
clear this is I hope it comes through in the video it's unbelievably smooth and uh, yeah this one this one's pretty unbelievable guys so give it a try remember <laughs> to set a system restore point so you can go back if you have to and I'm sitting here looking now just off in the distance you can see these buildings way off in the distance crystal 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 clear so I mean leaps and bounds guys we're making huge steps forward um, please let me know how this works for you and we'll talk soon